Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl, I'm Sally. So in today's video I wanted to do something a little bit different but not really, if that makes sense. So it is a haul of some origami paper I have picked up from Daiso here in Australia. Now Daiso is actually a Japanese variety store and I'm not sure where else it is in the world. I'm sure it's all over the planet and I have one local to me and I'm so excited. <laughs> so it's just to show you some of the things that you can do with it if you can't do origami like me who has tried and failed on many many occasions. Apologies for the glare, I will be taking them out of the plastic very soon. So I had just gone to see Jurassic Park Dominion because I love dinosaurs, I've loved all the Jurassic Park movies and I will continue to love Jurassic Park movies even if the plot is awful. I don't care there's dinosaurs and that's what I went to see it for. <laughs> Is dinosaurs. So this pack is really cool. It's got 80 sheets, but there's four designs. So 20 sheets of each design. So let's have a look at them. And I'm not putting these back in those plastic containers because I have uh, proper origami paper holders. I'll show you soon. So let's have a look. So we've got, yeah. Four designs. It's really two designs in my opinion with different colours, but you've got the army camo and dinosaur skeletons. And on the back it's this green colour. You've got the what's the brown one for? That's is that jungle considered jungle or it's not quite desert because desert later, but another form of cameo again. Cameo? Camo with more dinosaur skeletons and this one has a yellow background and the last two you've got blue background with just some cartoony dinosaurs and a blue background surprise a surprise and the last one is the red background with dinosaurs and oh it's more pink than red so there you go slightly lighter color so they're pretty awesome so 80 sheets there for designs happy with that and again being from Daiso well in Australia they are $2.80 or $3.10 it costs to get stuff from Daiso uh, but they're known as a hundred yen store so if you went to Japan it would be a hundred yen or if you have them in your country, uh, let me know if you actually do have Daiso in your country that you are currently living in. I'd be curious because I'm not quite sure of their World Dominion yet. They should be everywhere because I love them. I have mentioned before that there's only two properties of Disney I like and that's of course Winnie the Pooh and Beauty and the Beast. So this of course is... Disney paper. So this is 30 sheets, five designs, six sheets each, which you can see there. Now I can just feel this paper. It feels beautiful. It doesn't just feel like paper paper. It feels like it's uh, like proper decorative paper, almost like chiagami paper. If you've ever felt chiagami paper, it has almost a material feel to it so the back feels full on like paper but this feels like it's slightly fuzzy oh, I'm hope I'm describing this so you actually understand what I'm feeling but yeah it feels almost like material so this paper is beautiful so not sure what I'm going to use it on yet but let's have a look at them so the first one is this Winnie the Pooh pattern and they've got the license there so when you do see Disney stuff a fair bit of Disney stuff at Daiso it is all licensed uh, it's usually Mickey which I phew, Mickey Mouse couldn't be bothered with or Pooh and of course I love my poo. so that is the first one and it's the same design but in a pink background really pretty really pretty and there is a slightly different design with the minty green background again they all have that 
just ever so slight fuzzy feeling so they are really gorgeous papers and I know I've said that a heap but I feel it and when I feel it I've got to share it so, <laughs> so you just put up with it <laughs> and this one oh, again beautiful and go woohoo -hoo -hoo, the wonderful thing about tiggers and that's all I can sing before I get a copyright strike. Because <laughs> Disney are very litigious, just in case you're wondering. And this one. One of the many reasons I think I don't like Disney. Um, but we're not going to make it about that, are we? No, we're going to look at the pretty poos. Eeyore, of course, being my favourite character. Tigger is my closest, is my second sorry not my closest is my second favorite character i relate to these two characters in my own personality so they are the poo papers and they are that sounds <laughs> insert toilet paper humor here these are my winnie the poo papers and i am in love now let me show you as i said i wasn't putting these back in the plastic covers so let me show you what i actually do have so i've got these boxes now i'm pretty sure i got these from daiso as well and they're specifically designed to store your paper so they'll go in there now i do keep that so at least i can bundle them up to what they were but they fit in there perfectly and there's some room for some more so that's an awesome storage for your origami paper now when i pulled this box out i did notice i had attempted some origami i also had these ones these are uh good atama themed ones now these ones i did actually get in japan so these ones are a sturdy plastic and they have press studs to close them so oh there's more cool good atama on the back i love good atama Okay, so here are some examples I said I was going to show for when there's been a lot of colour blocking in the background and I have not wanted to do that much colour blocking. So I've used some of the origami paper. So this one, Pooh and Tigger. I didn't have a Pooh uh, origami paper at the time I did this one. So I've, I've selected this really pretty koi fish and fans yeah i just decided at what point i wanted to put it down on each corner so that you can still got your drills there it it's covered perfectly without there being gap so it's awesome and when i eventually cut this out and put this in my book it will look nice and tidy obviously it's just ripped off there because that doesn't matter but when i cut it off it'll be nice and square and i think that looks awesome i think it takes away from also a boring background that would have just been all white and you needed something there to make it a bit more awesome so i did the two corners on that one and the other one i've done it on is another poo one and it was this one, I love you to the moon and back. So I did have some astronomy based and star based paper. So I did the nice greeny bluey paper on the corners here. And there was another whack of color blocking here. I just didn't want to do so. I added some star fields or some constellations, which will go with the theme of the diamond painting and again once I cut this down it will look tidier and more in place because obviously it's hanging over now but yeah once I've cut it down and put it in my display book that will look really nice now I like the way these look I think it's an awesome way to shortcut a lot of color blocking you may not it might not be the type of thing you want to do but for me I can get very bored if there's too much of doing the one thing I need to think of new ways to keep the hobby interesting for me it's just who I am and how my brain works so I actually really like these so these are the only two I've done so far with the origami paper I've done others with washi tape thank you everybody for watching it's truly appreciated if this is your first time stumbling across my channel welcome please consider subscribing hitting that like button 
and if you haven't done so already everybody hit that notification bell so you know when I have uploaded my latest videos. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these origami papers. Is it something you would be interested in doing yourself to shortcut colour blocking on diamond paintings or also to fill in some of that excessive white background that you get on some colouring book pages? I have some other awesome themed origami paper that I got from Japan from way back in 2019 in the before times and also from Daiso here in Australia. If you're interested in seeing those uh, let me know because I wasn't quite sure how this video will be received because there's not a lot of videos on YouTube about origami paper. There's a lot of videos on how to fold origami paper into cool and exciting things but not about origami paper hauls. So again let me know in the comments if you'd like to see my other designs. Not my designs I didn't make them but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I think that will do it for this video. So everybody no matter where you are please stay safe stay weird and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!